Good evening and welcome to Vox Evening News. Somalia's capital Mogadishu has been under security lockdown with roads and schools closed and residents urged to remain indoors a day before the country holds a long-delayed presidential election. Fears are high that the Al-Qaeda-linked Shabab group will seek to disrupt the election by carrying out an attack on the capital. Twin car bombs at a popular hotel left at least 28 dead two weeks ago. President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed is seeking re-election against 21 other candidates after another dropped out. The troubled horn of African nation, which has not had an effective central government in three decades, had been promised a one-person, one-vote election in 2016. Today, security is tightened. All streets and most businesses are blocked. If I look at the upcoming elections, we all know that the presidential elections will take place tomorrow. However, I hope that change will come from the elections and that means a new president. It is very good idea to tighten up the overall security because there will be presidential elections and the country is in a critical moment. Therefore, we welcome the new security measures and hope the people will be patient. The new president should make the national army and the security forces his first priority. His first, second and third priority should be the strengthening and improving of the country's forces because foreign forces can't do anything. I would suggest to cut off the budget of the parliamentarians and increase the budget of the security forces. We are civilian people and we need to work for ourselves. We don't need salary from them. From my point of view, I believe change is needed because the country's situation was very bad over the past four years in terms of economy and security. We don't want the current president. 